Hello, so we're getting into our first video of the new unit. We're talking about electrons and bonding in this unit. So for our first video for this entire unit on electrons and bonding, we're going to talk about how to make shell models for atoms. We talked about this in class where you have these rings around that are your shells and those shells are at different energy levels and it shows where our electrons live inside of our atom. So we're going to go through a few examples of how to draw these. So for our first example, we're going to look at sulfur. We're going to draw a shell model for sulfur. So our first thing that we do when we start is we draw our nucleus, which our nucleus, I'm going to do it in red right here. Our nucleus is just this little dot. And we can do that instead of drawing out each of our protons and neutrons that are in there because we're under the understanding that if we have an atom of sulfur, we have the correct number of protons and neutrons in there for an atom of sulfur. So we have 16 protons, and however many neutrons there are for our isotope, we don't care about that. We're just looking at electrons. So we've got our nucleus, and now we've got to draw out how many rings we're going to have in our shell model for sulfur. Which, if you look on your periodic table, sulfur is in the third row of the periodic table, which means that it will have three rings. It is in the third energy level. So we can draw our three rings around our nucleus. So we know that it's going to be in the third energy level because it's in the third row of the periodic table. And now we've got to fill in where our electrons go. So since sulfur is element number 16, it needs to have 16 total electrons. So when we start filling this in, we start filling in from the inside energy level, the innermost energy level, and then we work our way out. So when we look at our energy levels, we know that our first energy level can hold two electrons maximum. Right, because that's that first row on the periodic table has hydrogen and helium in it. There's only two elements, so we only hold two electrons. For our second and third energy level, we can hold up to eight electrons. For our fourth and fifth energy level, we can hold up to 18. And for our sixth and seventh energy level, we can hold up to 32. If you ever forget those numbers, all you have to do is look at your periodic table and you count the number of elements that are in that row. So when you're on the fifth row, you've got to go across those first two elements, then the ten that are in that middle block, and then you've got another six on the other side. So two plus ten plus six gives you eighteen. And the reason that rows 6 and 7 have 32 is because now you've got that bottom row of 14 elements added in there, so that gets you up to 32. So we're going to start filling in our sulfur atom here. So we've got 16 electrons to place. So we can put two in our first energy level. So we go and put one and two. And that just filled our first energy level because we could only fit two and we've got our two. So now we move into our second energy level, which can fit eight. So we're going to go ahead and fill in eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we have two in our first energy level, and we have eight in our second energy level, which means we have ten total electrons right now. And we needed to get to 16, because sulfur has 16. So if we've already placed 10, and we need to have 16, there are six more electrons that get placed in our third energy level. And we can fit that many there, because we can have a maximum of 8, and we only need to place 6. So we place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 
and I know that mine are placed, I kind of place them in a certain way because I'm a little bit compulsive about where I like them to be and it looks symmetrical that way. But you can draw your dots wherever you want around the ring. It doesn't matter as long as you have the correct number of electrons in the correct energy level. So again, we needed 16 electrons because we are at element 16. And so we've got two in our first circle, eight in our second circle makes 10, and six in our third circle makes 16 electrons. So this would be our shell model for a sulfur atom. All right, and that's how we do shell models.